Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make Pizza Hut's pan pizza and breadsticks. This was absolutely delicious, so let's get started with the video. In a large bowl, add 2 and 1 4 cups of water, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and 1 tablespoon of active dry yeast. Stir everything together and wait for the yeast to bloom. This should take about 5 minutes. Once your yeast has bloomed, add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Then add 1 tablespoon of salt and 5 cups of bread flour. Mix all your ingredients together until just combined. When you're finished, add some flour to a clean surface. Then pour your dough out and add more flour. Now begin to knead your dough. If your dough is sticky while you're kneading it, add more flour if necessary. Knead your dough until you can stretch some of the dough into a thin sheet without it tearing. When you're finished kneading your dough, separate it into four even dough balls. I did this by splitting my dough in half, and then splitting the two dough balls in half as well. Now get a container and add some olive oil on the inside. Use the dough ball to coat your container in the olive oil on all sides. While you're coating the inside of your container in olive oil, make sure you also coat the dough ball in olive oil as well. Place your lid on the container and then set it to the side. Repeat this process with the rest of your dough. When you finish placing all your doughs in containers, let them rise for about 2 hours at room temperature or you can place them in the fridge to let them rise for 1-7 to seven days. Letting your dough age for a few days gives it a better flavor, somewhat similar to sourdough. I believe I let my dough age for about 4-5 to five days before using it. Now we're going to make our tomato sauce. In a small saucepan, add 15 ounces of crushed tomatoes, 2 tablespoons of tomato paste, 2 tablespoons of sugar, One and one half teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of dried basil. Mix everything together until well combined.
Heat your sauce up until it is warm and then take it off the heat. Set your sauce to the side or place it into a container to use later. Now we're going to prepare our toppings. First, we're going to shred our cheese. The cheese you're going to want to use for this pizza is whole milk, low moisture mozzarella cheese. When you're finished shredding your cheese, put it in a Ziploc bag and place it in the fridge. Now slice or dice the vegetables you want on your pizza. I cut up a bell pepper and an onion. When you're finished cutting up your vegetables, set them to the side. Next, we're going to prepare our meat toppings. I decided to add Italian sausage on mine. First, I cut the skin off the Italian sausage and then I just placed it into a pan with melted butter and cooked it. After the Italian sausage was finished cooking, I chopped it up some more and then set it to the side with the rest of my toppings. Now that we've finished preparing our toppings, we can go ahead and make our pizza. In an iron skillet, add some olive oil. Make sure the inside of your iron skillet is coated in the olive oil. When you're finished, set your iron skillet to the side and take out your dough. Take the dough out of its container and then knead it a bit. After that, shape it. Shape and stretch your dough as best as you can so it can fit inside the iron skillet. Place your dough in the pan and then start coaxing it into the corners using your fingers and your fist. When you're finished, place a towel or plastic wrap over your pan and then let your dough rise in room temperature for about an hour or until it has doubled in size. When your dough has finished rising, add your sauce. Then add some Parmesan cheese. After that, add your mozzarella cheese. And finally, add your toppings. When you're finished, place your pizza into the oven at 500 degrees for about 11 to 15 minutes. Or until your cheese and your crust is golden brown. Now that we've finished making our pizza, let's move on to our breadsticks. In a square pan, add some olive oil. Make sure to coat all the sides of your pan in the olive oil. Now take your dough out of its container and knead it, shape it, and stretch it.
Place your dough into the pan and coax it into the corner so it fits perfectly. When you're finished, place a towel or plastic wrap over your pan and then let your dough rise for about an hour in room temperature. Once your dough is risen, cut it into 5 equal breadsticks. Then bake it in the oven at 500 degrees for 20 minutes. While your breadsticks are baking, we're gonna make our breadstick topping. In a small bowl, combine two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of garlic salt, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of oregano, and two teaspoons of basil. When you're finished, set it to the side. When your breadsticks are finished baking in the oven, brush them with melted butter. Then sprinkle your breadstick topping on your breadsticks. And that's it, you are all finished with your pizza and your breadsticks. This is totally optional, but I added some oregano and Parmesan cheese over my pizza. You can also add red pepper flakes. And this is the finished product. Everything came out amazing. I was super proud of this. The breadsticks tasted just like the ones from Pizza Hut and my pizza was absolutely delicious. It came out looking beautiful and it tasted amazing. I'll link all the recipes I used for this video down in the description below. The only reason I wanted to make this was because I kept getting the personal pan pizza and breadsticks from Pizza Hut for a while, and one day I was just like, let me just go ahead and make this for myself. It takes a lot of patience to make pizza, but I swear this is totally worth it. It was fun to make and it was really good. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!